Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Excel tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to determine if a day falls on weekend or weekday. All right, so here I have a list of dates. So in column B, uh, here are my dates. In column C, I populate the day name. So for July 8th, 2020, this day falls on Wednesday. And for April 4th, 2020, uh, this day falls on a Saturday and so on. So to determine if a day fell on weekend or weekday, so here let's uh, start with the weekend first. So in Excel, there's a function called weekday. The weekday function takes two parameters, serial number and return type. The serial number will take a day value. So here I'm going to select my day value in cell B3 and comma. And the return type is asking uh, which day they want to set to the first day of the week. I'm going to set Monday as the first day of the week. And that sets Monday with value of one. So I'm going to use uh, option two. So I'm going to enter two, close parenthesis and enter. And that returns three. And three indicating that uh, this date, July 8th, 2020, fell on Wednesday. And using that logic, we know Saturday is going to be six and Sunday is going to be seven. Now what I can do is I can insert the OR function to uh, insert a uh, couple conditions. So here I'm going to uh, insert two logical tests. I'm going to say that if this uh, formula returns six, so it goes to six, comma, I'm going to insert another logical test. So I'm going to copy uh, this formula and just copy and paste. I'm going to change the six to seven. So validating whether or not if this date fell on a Sunday and enter. Now, if a date fell on either Saturday or Sunday, then this formula will return true. Now, let me auto fill this formula. Now, if we look at April 4th, 2020, and because April 4th, 2020 fell on weekend, so this formula will return true. And to determine if a day is a weekday, so we can just copy this formula. I'm going to uh, paste over to cell D3. And to determine if a day is a weekday, all we need to do is we just need to get the inverse of that value. I'll insert the NOT function to reverse the value. Now I just need to autofill this formula all the way to the last row. And that's it. Now, if we just take a look, so Wednesday fell on a weekday and Saturday fell on a weekend. Let's look for a Sunday, right? So here we have a Sunday and Sunday is a weekend and we get a two value on the weekend column. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video and hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.